we are into yet another new topic and um, the topic is known as uh, analysis of perfect frames it is the last topic in the uh, structures module one and we are going to start with definition of frames now a frame is a structure made up of several members riveted or welded together that's what we call a frame that is a structure made up of several members and these several members are either riveted or welded together to form a frame and a frame is a um, a good example of a frame is like a truss, yeah, a steel truss. It a truss ya chuma, yeah. So for that uh, truss, the members of the truss are usually welded together, or some of them are riveted together. Examples of uh, frames, frames are categorized into two. We got perfect frames and we also have imperfect frames now when do we refer to a frame as a perfect frame if the frame is composed of such members which are just sufficient enough to keep the frame in equilibrium when the frame is supporting an external load, then that frame is known as a perfect frame. So, in other words, a perfect frame is a frame whereby all its members are in such a way that the frame will remain at equilibrium when it is subjected to an external load. That frame we refer to it as a perfect frame now for perfect frame the number of joints and the number of members are given by this relation n is equal to 2j minus 3 whereby n is the number of members and j is the number of joints therefore when a frame satisfies this relation then we are going to call that frame a perfect frame and the simplest perfect frame is a triangle so if we have a triangular steel truss that triangular trust will be perfect. Let's see whether it fulfills this relation. Now, a triangle have got three joints. We have joint A, B, and C. And it also has three members. We have member A, B. We have member A, C. And we have member B, C. Now, Applying this relation, L is equals to J minus 3. Let's assume that we don't know the number of uh, members. So, if we want to get the number of members, we are going to say 2 times J. J is the number of joints. And this triangle have got 3 joints in total. Therefore, we are going to have 2 times 3 minus 3. And that's going to be 6 minus 3 which is 3. Therefore, the number of uh, members are 3 and actually they are practically 3. Other examples of uh, perfect frames, we have this one here, looks like a um, parallelogram with 4 joints and 5 members. We also have this uh, frame here with four uh, with uh, five joints 
and a number of members. Let's see. For example, in this one, we have one, two, three, four, five, five joints. Therefore, to get the number of members, we are going to take two times five joints, and then we subtract three, and that's going to be ten minus three. Therefore, n number of members will be seven. Let's see whether they are seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven members. Now, after looking at um, perfect frames, the next type of frame that we have is what we call imperfect frames. Now, when do we call or when do we refer to a member as an imperfect frame? Definitely, if a member doesn't fulfill this relation of n is equals to j minus 3, then definitely we are going to refer to that frame as an imperfect frame. And this means that the number of members will either be more than 2j minus 3 or L less than 2j minus 3. Now, if the number of members in the imperfect frame are less than 2j minus 3, then the frame is referred to as deficient frame, lacking in. A certain number of members so that is when an imperfect member or an imperfect frame doesn't satisfy this relation of 2j minus 3 likewise if the number of members are more than 2j minus 3 then the frame is known as redundant frame so ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, what we shall be considering in this uh, topic. So join me as we flow together. Thank you.